everyone, I'm Shikaina Akina Maranga and for today's video, I am going to do something different. This is not the usual return demonstration, but rather a presentation on the basic anatomy and physiology of the human heart. This video is done as a response to a request made by one of my avid student subscribers and this presentation is based on the things that I have learned in school and from the information that I have gathered through my online research. And now, without further ado, let's proceed to the introduction of the human heart. The heart is the primary organ of the circulatory system and is responsible for pumping blood throughout our body. It also coordinates with other body systems to control the heart rate and our blood pressure. The heart is somewhat situated to the left and behind the sternum and is shielded by the ribcage. Now, how big is the heart? Now, everyone's heart is slightly different. On average, an adult's heart is about the size of two clenched fists, while in children, it's about the same size as of one clenched fist. And as to the question of how much does it weigh, um, on average, in adults, um, it weighs about 10 ounces, but that still depends on your body size. Now, let's continue with identifying the different parts of the heart and its functions. As you can see right here, this is the heart. This is an illustration of the heart that I have drawn. And we'll begin with the superior and inferior vena cava. Superior because it's on the upper part and inferior because it's in the lower part. These are the largest veins in the body and is responsible for carrying deoxygenated blood into the heart. Deoxygenated just means blood low in oxygen. Next, the heart has four chambers. It is divided into the right and left sides. Now, these are the four chambers. The chambers on the upper portion are called the atrium and the chambers in the lower part is called the ventricles. Now this one right here, since it's in the right side, it's called the right atrium. This one is the right ventricle, this is the left atrium, and this is the left ventricle. Now the heart also has four valves. Now the first two valves are located in between the atrium and ventricles. First we have the tricuspid valve, which is right here in between the right atrium and right ventricle. And the second one is called the mitral valve or otherwise known as the bicuspid valve because it has two cusps. It is situated between the left atrium and the left ventricle. The remaining two valves are called the semilunar valves, mainly because of its crescent moon shape. So. The first semilunar valve is located right here. It is called the pulmonary valve. And the other one is located right here. This one is called the aortic valve. Now, this one right here is called the pulmonary artery. This is, res this is responsible for delivering deoxygenated blood into the lungs. And we have the pulmonary vein. The pulmonary vein is responsible for carrying oxygen-rich blood back into the heart. And lastly, we have the aorta. The aorta is an artery responsible in distributing the oxygenated blood throughout our body. Now, let's discuss the blood circulation. Blood from all throughout the body will enter the heart through the superior and inferior vena cava down to the right atrium, down to the right ventricle passing through the tricuspid valve, and then through the pulmonary artery, and then into the lungs where the oxygenation takes place. The, the blood will then become oxygen-rich and will enter the heart again through the pulmonary vein down to the left atrium, down to the left ventricle, passing through the mitral valve. The left ventricle will then eject the oxygen-rich blood into the aorta, 
where it will then be distributed again all throughout the body. That is all for today's lesson. I hope you all learned something from this video and please leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you!